I think my biggest strength in the kitchen is the ability to work under stress. I feel like I actually work a little bit better under stress. Uh, when I'm under pressure, I kind of tend to, you know, I guess for lack of a better word, get stressed out. So, I, like, I take things really seriously and I get things done. I mean, and I feel it's a, it's a strength because some people crumble under pressure and can't perform their duties, and obviously that's not conducive to getting any work done, so. I mean, I prefer stress-free because I don't particularly enjoy being stressed out, but I do have the ability to work under stress. I think I work well under stress, but I would not choose that if given the option. I, I think just to take things really seriously and to just be able to stay calm and to actually to kind of just be able to tell yourself that even if you aren't really quite sure what to do, as long as you stay calm and think it through, you'll be able to do it. And some people let the stress get the best of them, but you kind of just have to ignore it and just have faith that you're gonna do a good job. I don't often, you know, this is actually might be a weakness to some extent, but I don't often trust others to tell me how to do it and what to do, so I like to do things myself which I kind of have trouble delegating to people because I'm always like, well, maybe I should just do it because I know how I want it to be, get done. So yeah, I am a doer in that. But as far as being a leader, I know you have to know how to delegate and that's something I probably have to work on. Very important. I mean, if you don't tell somebody, like there's a lot of different things going on at once. So if the one person doing one job doesn't talk to the other person about what they're doing, you, you don't know where everybody is because uh, it's even just getting out one dish there's like several different people working on the different components so if you don't know what everyone else is doing you can't get that dish out so yeah it's pretty important just working with all kinds of different things I mean I don't really think that I've been in it long enough to say this is what I like to work with I like to work with I'm a vegetarian so I can tell you I don't like to work with meat I will if I have to but I try not like because obviously I don't want to taste it but uh, <laughs> yeah so but uh, no I, I really don't have a favorite to be quite honest with you I like I just like the experience of just working in the kitchen and working with everything. I mean, I wouldn't refuse a job based on, I mean, I would do what I had to do to it, for a good job. Like, yeah, like, and don't get me wrong with me being a vegetarian, like I try to do that at home. And be, but if I'm working somewhere and I have to taste something, then I'll just taste it, it's not the end of the world. But, so yeah, I would take it. But if there were something that I could do that didn't involve working with, steak and you know all kinds of meat items I would prefer that. Some uh, uh, an environment where people communicate um, preferably an environment where people don't freak out and you know just get crazy and oh no we have to get this done right now and bite your head off whenever there's like a because miscommunications are gonna happen even if there is good communication I mean you just can't 100% know what everybody else is doing all the time. So I just would like just people who know how to work together and know like are aware of the personalities there that are around them because I mean a lot of you know some people have the philosophy that it doesn't matter what a person's personality is you just have to get the job done and that's not true like you have to know how everybody else is so you know how to work with them. I mean and so I just feel like a kitchen where, you know, everyone knows, is aware of how everyone else is and knows how to work with those people and just, we're, everyone works as a team and doesn't, you know, work against each other and doesn't get upset with each other over things that, you know, happen because things are going to go wrong, but you, you can't get upset with people because then those people are going to hold a grudge against you, possibly, and it's just not good for anybody. Then nothing ever gets done. I would say just going through the program and graduating and doing well, I've gotten straight A's. Um, I just feel like, you know, setting my mind to doing it and co completing the program and just having the experience. Because I'm going to be quite honest with you, I'm not, this isn't my, ch what I'm going, what I would like to do as a career. This is something I kind of did for a personal experience, so I'm very happy that I just have the personal benefit from it. I would say that AI has kind of influenced me just in 
and they've taught me very well what the culinary industry really is going to be like or what would be like and just whether or not it would mesh well with what I would want to do and well when I found out I had high blood pressure I got like really concerned about nutrition so my initial interest was in nutrition so I was originally wanting to you know go into that as a career and then I was like well you know having a knowledge of nutrition is great but I would also like to know how to make and prepare food like I feel like they go hand in hand so that's kind of when I decided to go into culinary was to supplement my knowledge of nutrition so that I would say that was probably when just when I developed an interest in nutrition because there are so many different fields within culinary like you have like your molecular gastronomy and then people you know work at like five-star restaurants that do all the the fancy food so I mean it can be one, once you get into all that it, it can definitely be considered edible art but for me, I think it's more just something, I don't really consider it edible art, I just think of it as a, a fun hobby, I guess. I guess for me, it, I guess business or lifestyle, because if I were to decide to like go into the restaurant business or work as a caterer, then it would be about the business. But for me now, it's quite, kind of just a lifestyle, like it's something that I like to do to improve my quality of life and, and you know, something that I like to do for others, for my friends and family. And, but it's, it's, like I said, I don't consider it an art. So yeah, I guess if, if I were to not pursue the business aspect of it, I would consider it a lifestyle. That's a wrap.